We begin tonight with a terrifying air scare just as millions hit the roads for the busy holiday weekend. Several people becoming ill after a United Airlines flight headed from Tel Aviv to Newark, New Jersey, encountered high winds and turbulence. That flight diverted about 70 miles northward to Stewart International Airport. Some passengers complaining of nausea, nausea sickness, and chest pain. That plane eventually refueling and landing at its original destination, Newark International Airport. All this coming as the TSA screen its largest number of passengers of the year so far, more than 2.7 million on Thursday, outpacing travel on the Friday before Christmas and the day before Thanksgiving. And air travel is expected to get even busier as millions take to the skies ahead of the solar eclipse. ABC's Phil Lipoff leads us off tonight from Newark International Airport. Tonight, airports across the country packed with passengers. A lot of congestion um, at times. The TSA screening more than 2.7 million people Thursday alone heading into the holiday weekend, making it the busiest day this year so far. More passengers than the Friday before Christmas and the day before Thanksgiving last year. What about the crowds? A lot of people traveling with you? Yeah. Yeah. Our plane was definitely more packed than it was going out. But the holiday weekend not without incident. A United flight from Tel Aviv to Newark making an unscheduled stop, diverting late Friday to Orange County, New York, after encountering heavy turbulence. Yeah, it's quite windy today, um, and they said the flight was pretty rough coming in uh, to Newark, but uh, we had multiple ambulances here from New Windsor and multiple surrounding agencies. In a statement, United saying one passenger deplaned due to a medical incident, and a few other customers were seen by medical personnel for possible motion sickness. And they advised our crew that they had multiple people on the plane complaining of nausea, some chest pain um, from the, the, the turbulence. The plane eventually making it to Newark. And if you're on the road this weekend, you will spend more on gas. Prices slowly rising through the year with the average hovering around three fifty three a gallon. That's up 19 cents from last month's average and up three cents from this time last year. And Phil Lipoff joins us from Newark International Airport. And Phil, even before this busy weekend is over, the FAA now with a heads up for next week as well. Mary, you're right. The FAA predicting that next week will be the busiest of the spring break travel season. And a reminder, as you mentioned, there is a lot of excitement surrounding this total solar eclipse happening on April 8th. Many people making trips just for that. So travelers can expect some limited parking, even delays at airports right along the eclipse's path from Texas to Maine. Mary? It will be something to see, Phil. Thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.